my name is Zamber. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and starting to watch with me. So I am back from my vacay. It was actually a bachelorette party, but like still the same thing. Um, but I'm very excited. I don't know if this will be going up first or amphibia. So hi, I'm here. I'm alive. <laughs> but today we are going to be watching The Owl House season two, episode 11, Holly's at the Coven Parade, which the Coven Parade is a big deal because we're going to see rain again, potentially which I love Rain. They are amazing. So I'm very excited to see that character again. And of course, like Luce got to see mom and basically have stepsister now. So like, I'm very excited to see where the show is going to go. Cause as we all know, season two is going to go. And then we only have like a big long movie of like a season three. So I'm very excited to see, cause we're kind of starting to get to like an end game or setting ourselves up for the end game in Owl House. So I am very excited to watch. Hope you guys are as well. Please keep in mind to support the official release of the Owl House either on Disney Plus or you can watch it on the Disney Now app as well. And if you want to see my full uncut reactions and hear me gushing ogle at all the Lumity stuff, you can check out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below to get access to the timer reactions over there. But without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Hola, mama. Hola. I know I'm staying in the demon realm, but I'm recording this because I think we can find a middle ground. Oh. This is a world of magic and beauty. Just look. I could have lived my entire life never seeing Hootie dry its skin out. Why did we see that? I don't even want to watch anymore. I'm done. The well-being of our students is our top priority, which is why we send all our troublemakers to oh, our no. new and improved detention pit. Uh -huh. Please don't. Help me. You know, I really, I really did miss this show. I, you know, I really did miss this show. I'm, I'm, yeah. Who do you stare by? You've seen Bells up close. What's he like under all that? Oh. I never had good luck. I heard he's scarred from wild Hi. magic. Hi. Ooh. Amity. Oh, that, that, that. Did Ooh. you just call me a sweet potato? Yes. Is that not a term of endearment? Oh, I'm still figuring out this human language book from Gus. Oh. Aw, I love it. You're the sweet potato. Yeah. So, did that I love titan blood ever come in handy? So cute. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I haven't used the door yet. they are waiting for a good moment. You know? Yeah. Lamentators! Oh my god, Luke's kissing the cheek. Hello? Hello? Ah. Hmm? Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Come on, there's no way your mom will make you leave the demon realm. Yeah, if she needs us, I'll make sure to put on the charm. No. It turns people into obedient zombies. No. Ida. Ida, love you. Totally love you. Mama me, I love you. But like, no, that's not how it works. Mother, please. I can't come Ooh. home. If I don't leave this parade, those will end my... No, no, no. I... Of course, I miss everyone. You got a lot of pressure on you, too. Guess why we're here. Okay. Ida hired someone to spy on her ex. <gasps> Did you read my diary? Ah! And they're head witch of the bard coven. Stop it. And they Stop also... It. Yes. They secretly led a rebel group against the Emperor and got captured. I was there! Oh! I didn't read that far. Ooh. <laughs> well, good job. You broke loose. It was the yeast I could do. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> yes! I love rain! Ah! Now working with the Emperor's Hunting with doesn't make sense. They were seen as a traitor. Oh, Maybe well, you can ask them. Working is a little. They, if they're here for the parade, they'll probably They are not. They're not. Not not willingly. She said if I don't make a bad for the family reunion, I'd be banished from all states and the family. Oh, oh but no. I fail too many missions, and if I leave my job now, I'll be banished from my life. Oh wow. it's gonna be okay. Maybe there's a way we can help each other out. We're gonna help you by kidnapping you and Ring. What? <gasps> hey, girl, hey, Willow! Amity! Uh, hey, Willow. It's, uh, been a while since I came here on my own. Yeah, I guess it has. 
Oh uh, boy. Okay. So Luz has been acting super weird, and I think she's lying about her trip to the human room, and she left a boon, a fun mm-hmm. with her thingy at school, and. So gay. Luz says she hasn't been to the human realm, but I just get the feeling that she's lying. And I can find out the truth by watching this. But mm. I'm not gonna invade her privacy like that. Would you? Mm. No! Mm. <laughs> Hello? Listen, Blake, if you want my advice, there's something you have to do for me first. Oh? Do you still know how to braid hair? Aww. Ah, the little toesies. <laughs> okay. Okay, but Willow, don't you get all up in, like, Amity, okay? Because that's... Lumity? Uh, shouldn't you be practicing your, um, parade wave? Ugh, you know I hate these things. Talking to people, oh. waving to people, mm. people. <laughs> I, I knew I liked rain. I knew I liked rain. Well, why wouldn't they be? They were sick for a while, but thanks to me, they're good as new. Oh, no. Yeah. Tara's been helping me recover. I can't remember anything but these uh, headaches. Drink your tea. Oh. Oh. Oh, I hate it. No. I I didn't think anyone could be worse, but Tara definitely is. Damn. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Good, good. Luce got down. I got scared that Luce was backing out or something. <laughs> okay, come on. That's enough. Oh, Amity's not a part of this plan. Oh, boy. Rain, I'm so glad you're okay. Ida, uh -oh. what are you doing here? I had to make sure you were okay after that fight with Darius and Ember. We haven't spoken in years. Oh no! <gasps> Listen, I don't know what you want with me, but I'm head of a coven now, and I can't associate with wild witches. <gasps> so no. no, aside. You know something's up. No. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not leaving till I get through to you. You know. Fine. Ooh. We can do this the hard way. Ooh, let's see you fight, baby. Ow! What a shame that Kikimori will disappear. And right before her promotion. Oh, no. Guess we'll have to find someone else. <gasps> oh, Amity, Another you are a lifesaver. But don't risk yourself like this, baby. Oh, thank goodness. Chapter 8, Azuriel pretends to kidnap Hecate during the ice festival of Saber from the Wizard Clan. You remember my favorite part. Yes, Aww. but right now I just want to keep my girlfriend from being sent to the conformatory. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the skateboard. Very resourceful. Please. Rain stop it. I'm storm. <laughs> Did you forget this too? <gasps> Why won't you just leave me alone? Ooh. I heard something over here. Head witch, are you there? Surround the area. <gasps> Go home. Maybe travel for a bit. Just don't contact me again. Hey, witch, are you hurt? No, not bad. Let's return to the parade. You've been such a help to me, human. You really are a kind person. And an utter fool. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, stings can burn for all I care. You heard, Tara. They want to promote me. Oh, you're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Thank you, Luz, for all the help. Oh, you're no. welcome. I mean, dang it. Oh, honey. Bless your sweet little innocent heart. To get ahead of yourself. Mm. What's the promotion? Who's under my command? What do I get? You get to live. Hmm. Cool. I 
Awesome. The Emperor says he's looking forward to meeting you, human. Until then, happy coven day. Happy coven day. Yumi, 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 you saved me. Mm. How can I make it up to you? But maybe you can tell me about this. Mm. I'm sorry. I know this situation is crazy, and I'm okay taking things one day at a time. Tell me what happened. Okay. The Den Unity will be in exactly one month. When the tide is at its lowest and the moon obscures the sun. Oh, at no. that time, we will Aww. journey to the head of the hours, and there, the worthy shall inherit a utopia free of wild magic. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Thank you, boiling hands. We love you, Grandpa! You say Grandpa? <laughs> but for now, we'll take things one day at a time. Damn. Uh, Okay. That was that was a lot for sure. Oh, look at all them. Hunter. Oh. Mom. Oh. Oh rain. Oh rain. Huh. Okay, so First thing I want to talk about is this was a very interesting episode simply because episode 10, we had left off at this very like, oh, heavy, emotional moment with Luce and mom. So I wasn't quite sure where we would pick it off again in 11 since it has been so long. Uh, we kind of had to get re reacquainted with the tense stressfulness of everything that's happening right now and so it was nice to have that start with like the video just basically loose once again being like hey what's up mom like i know you now and i know you know that i'm here and it's this is a friendly place and we show everything that is so not friendly about this place <laughs> but of course I'm really glad that Willow got a little bit more time in this episode. I think my biggest complaint of season, the first half of season two was Willow was basically ignored the entire time. Um, from what we've seen from trailers, spoilers, I guess, but it's not really. We know that Willow gets a little bit more time. At least they showed Willow a bit more. And getting to see Willow even get to be talked to, um, Amity coming and talking to her and them kind of rekindling more of that friendship that was once there before it all fell apart it was very very nice honestly it was very heartwarming to have that moment of willow and amity i didn't think we would ever get them interacting a bit more and having that like solo friendship so just that simple act of like willow being like i have one thing i have to ask you Can you braid my hair and just do, 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 do. <laughs> like so precious like obviously she very much misses Amity and the opportunity to have Amity, you know, friendship back again means a lot to Willow, which is very nice. And uh, literally like uh, Amity was like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, I'll do it. And Willow was just happy about it. You know, it was very cute. So I really appreciated it. I also was very uh, I was actually pretty shocked by the fact that Amity didn't watch the video. And is it terrible? No, but the video would have been like, hi, mom. Like, ah, you know, you told me not to come back here, but I don't know. So it still would have been bad for Amity to see. And I think it probably would have killed some of her like hopes and wishes of maybe learning more about human world stuff. And like the fact that she's learning stuff. Spanish was so cute and like all your little sweet potato was so adorable like oh my god they are the cutest girlfriends ever just adorable I love their relationship I think it's um uh, it's very sweet and innocent but they are dealing with a lot of very serious things which you know ugh, it's hard it is so 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 hard but we got a lot of cute um illumity moments you know the little kiss on the cheek 
like they're little leaning against each other like i love how like totally fine and normal it is i love that uh gus and willow are just like no it's a thing i, I adore it <laughs> i think it's really fun that they didn't really ask they're just like yeah i figured you two would get together like i love it i love that <laughs> uh the kikimura stuff i i wanted to believe kikimura maybe like would go to family but like kiki mora is like just that character that is like the right hand and will always choose power over like you know love family which is sad but that's what that character is and now we have tara tara is terrifying like oh boy tara tara is that character who will just stab you in the back and you will be like i i knew it so I feel bad for Rain, like their character is lovely, but like, damn it, God, it was just so sad. Like, even under this cont mind control esque thing, I guess brainwashing in a way, like Rain still like cried a little bit at the end there. Like, I'm holding back. I am trying everything to protect you, Ida. And Ida's just like, I don't want to. I want to help you. But like, you know, I, I think Ida will be smart enough to understand that something's wrong. Obviously, Rain was already Covenhead. And those opinions wouldn't have changed within like a month, you know. I think Ida will be wise enough to recognize something is wrong with Rain and help them. Hopefully. But I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. But I'm I'm just I'm so glad the show is back. I love the Owl House. I adore, adore, adore the show. I think it is really great. I I'm hopeful that since you know Disney is going to start having to uh get some replacement shows out there, I'm hopeful that we could get another sh another show that is similar. And maybe does the same kind of representation that the Owl House does. Because I think this show is so important. Um, I love that we have the, um, you know, representation of a woman-woman uh, -woman relationship. I think that's very beautiful. And I love the fact how normalized it is in the show. It's not a big deal. It's just there. And I'm very glad that it can be shown. I know in other countries it is censored or some other, you know, excuses made up for why they're close. Um, one being, let us go buy cute clothing and travel the world, which is the most gayest thing I've ever heard. But apparently that's better. <laughs> um, and for the fact that we have a um, non-binary character as well is absolutely wonderful. And rain instantly stole my heart so i'm hopeful more shows can be like this considering it's disney and what they're doing right now and their money you know they're not but i am glad enough that we have creative influences in our world who can you know push those mediums out there for us and allow for these kind of stories to be told it's just a very special, um, a special, a special moment, actually. You know what? No, a special moment in time because I think right now with our culture and our world, especially in the United States, um, we've been kind of regressing a bit where, you know, we have these very scary situations where laws are going into effect or potentially going into effect, like don't say gay, things like that, where our youth are going to be outed and that will create a very unsafe environment for them. And of course, I would never tell any teacher or educator or anyone to endanger their job and life for one of their students. But I do hope that maybe we can either create safe spaces for them or hopefully get this appealed or something because it is very scary so it makes me very sad so I'm glad that these things exist 
to help people feel just a little bit more represented and that it's not this scary like oh no i'm the sinner you know it, it it's hard every family is different i i don't like bigotry i don't care you know i don't think anyone should like it but it exists i think that we should love children for who they are regardless if maybe you don't identify that way i think that it's really important for kids to be able to grow and explore who they want to be and if they see someone on the tv who is similar to them i think that's a beautiful thing and you know identifying as gay or coming out as transgender i'm sorry i said that really weird transgender so sorry i'm still very tired and i'm muttering my words <laughs> but I, none of those things hurt anybody else you know it's not it's not taking advantage of someone it's not murdering someone it's it's just them being happy and what's wrong with that so i'm very glad that this show is here i'm definitely going to miss the owl house when it's done though that is still a ways away because we do have the uh, movie-esque season three basically with the um long episodes basically it's like four long episodes or something like that i don't know i i just got home <laughs> But yeah, so I had a really fun time watching. I hope you guys did as well. I'm very excited to see next week and what will happen. And now that hopefully Amity is getting more clued into everything, it'll be nice to just have one more person who knows what's going on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember if you like this to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz comment down below let me know what you guys think let me know what you think about sweet potatoes <laughs> do you do you like the nickname sweet potato because i think it's adorable <laughs> thank you guys and i'll see you all later bye